Hi everybody, thanks for watching. I want to do a quick unboxing and explain or do a quick review on this Keter Full Bloom Garden Bed. You can pick these up at big box stores for just over a hundred dollars. I think we got this one from Walmart at, uh, yeah, Walmart. In May 2022, it ran us about $105. It's a pretty impressive bed. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have that may set it apart from other beds is it does not have wheels. But when they start to get heavy, like this one would be a 31 gallon yeah, capacity bed, that would be pretty heavy uh, to wheel around anyway. So with legs this thin, wheels may make it kind of precarious. Anyway, some of the features. It has a weatherproof resistant uh, UV design. It's made of 70% recycled materials. They say five minutes to assemble and you can have a nice uh, height to make it ergonomic for when you garden. And my wife is an avid gardener. She has about a eighth of an acre fence garden in the back and uh, she fills that up. But it's nice to have a small one just outside the kitchen and that's the purpose of this one. And it's just for her herbs and maybe a tomato plant or something like that. Um, without further ado, let's put this together. I'm gonna go quick time and so you can enjoy some good band drum music. advertised it only took about five minutes to put it together I had to run off and try to retrieve some puppies that got loose in the yard but we're back and the total time is maybe 10 minutes including puppy chase so here we are this is it the 31 gallon capacity it's large it's got a pretty neat faux wicker this is all plastic of course UV resistant plastic but it looks like a wicker uh, and what it does which is kind of neat underneath this plastic false bottom is a water reservoir. It's a, a false bottom so you can put water underneath and the plants can reach out of the roots and get the water there. And also they, they have a floating leaf water measurement system. So this goes to the bottom and basically this floating leaf comes, oh I just broke it. Okay, I didn't break it. Can't apply. Here's a close up of that floating leaf. It just sits on a little styrofoam cork there and as the water goes up you see the leaf down here like that if the water's real high it's uh, red and there's no need to water if it gets down here you can water so it's just a visual guide to let you know how much water is in the reservoir in the bottom pretty slick I like that it has a couple cross braces they're pretty flimsy here but I'm sure they'll tighten up as you fill this full of soil and overall, the look is modern and sleek. So there it is. We're gonna fill this full of some veggie plants and put it to work. Here it is in all its glory. This is several weeks later, like uh, six weeks later. Spring has sprung and it's the first month of summer. And here is the Keter Full Bloom Garden Bed producing. We've got lettuce in there, we've got kale, and a couple straggler tomato plants showed up that we didn't actually plant on purpose. It was just somehow my wife plants everything from seeds that she gathers herself. Somehow those got in there and uh, we're not complaining, but we love it. We harvest our stuff for sandwiches and uh, hasn't produced tomatoes yet, but I'm sure it will. Uh, just a nice confined space to have fresh produce right at, the, uh, right at your doorstep. So here it is, the 32 gallon full bloom garden bed. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 